Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the magnetic flux. By definition, the magnetic flux is simply the product of the B field, the strength of the magnetic field, times the cross-sectional area through which the magnetic flux passes through. So here we have magnetic field lines representing the magnetic field passing through an area called A. What are the units? Well, we know that the unit for magnetic field is equal to Tesla's, which is newtons per amp times meters or kilograms per second times coulombs, which we derived in the previous video. We multiply that times the area and let's see what we get. So the units here will become, we have kilograms divided by seconds times coulombs, and then we multiply that times the area, which is meters squared, which means that the units for flux simply kilogram times meters squared divided by seconds times coulombs. That's fairly uneventful. Let's now talk about something very interesting. We're going to relate the units for the magnetic field to the units of the electric field to see what happens. So the units for the magnetic field can be defined as Tesla's which can be written, as we have over there, as kilograms divided by seconds times coulombs. Now let's do the same for the electric field. The electric field can be defined as newtons per coulomb. And of course, when you write out the newtons, you get kilograms, meters per second squared times coulombs. Now we're going to divide the units of the electric field by the units of the magnetic field. So electric field divided by the magnetic field. What are the units when we do that? So we take in the numerator kilograms, meters per second squared times coulombs. And in the denominator, we write kilograms divided by seconds times coulombs. And of course, that's a big C for coulombs. Let me write a little bit bigger. There we go. And notice that the coulombs cancel out, and one of the seconds cancels out, and kilograms cancel out, which leaves us with meters per second. Of course, the units of meters per second, those are the units for velocity, which means that the ratio of the strength of the electric field divided by the strength of the magnetic field equals in units to meters per second or velocity which therefore relates to the concept that if we divide the strength of the electric field by the strength of the magnetic field, knowing that those fields move through space, through space at the speed of light, this then concludes that the ratio of the electric field divided by the magnetic field is equal to the speed of light. And notice how things are very easy, well, I shouldn't say easily, notice how things can be figured out by using units in such a way that we now have a concept of the relationship between the electric field and the magnetic field in terms of the speed of light. And that way, many things in physics were discovered simply by manipulating the units and saying, well, who, how about this? This may be correct. And then, of course, they go find out that they were indeed correct by simply using units like that. Quite interesting.